In this problem, we're told a 9,150 kilogram railroad car travels alone on a level frictionless track with a constant speed of 15 meters per second. A 4,350 kilogram load initially at rest is dropped onto the car. What will be the car's new speed? Right, so what we go here, go ahead and do is just label the initial and the final. Right, so initially we have this car, right, it's 9,150 kilograms moving at 15 meters per second. And we also have this, uh, right, this load, and so it's 4,350 kilograms, but this one's at rest, right? So this isn't moving, right? And so then what's going to happen is it's going to be dropped onto the car, right? And then we have the final, right? So it's dropped onto the car, right? So now it's going to be one object. You want to imagine it as just one object, right? So their mass is going to be added up, so 9,150 plus 4,000. Uh, 350 and so it's going to be moving at some speed right so we can just say v we don't know this velocity and that's what we're trying to find right so we're trying to find its speed after this is dropped onto it right so how do we do that so the way we're going to do it is just by using the laws of conservation of momentum which basically tells us the momentum initially has to equal to the momentum at the end okay so we know the momentum p is equal to its mass times its velocity okay so mass times velocity right so how do we find the momentum initially right because we know the momentum in the initial has to equal the momentum at the end Right, so we just have to add up the momentum of both objects, right? So this object plus this object, right? So m v plus m v, right? But what are these going to be? So let's say this one is this first object, its momentum. So its mass is 9,150 times its velocity. Its velocity is 15, right? Plus the mass of this one is 4,350. But what's its velocity? Notice its velocity is zero. And if we multiply by zero, this whole thing becomes zero. So essentially, its momentum is zero. So really, you don't have to worry about this object. right? So anything at rest, it doesn't have momentum. So the momentum in the beginning is just going to be this one object. So then we set it equal to the momentum at the end. So what's the momentum at the end? So keep in mind, we just have one object. right? So it's just going to have some mass and some velocity. What's its mass going to be? So the mass it's going to be is this object plus this object, right? because they're just one object, and we have to add their masses together right, because um, they just become one. So if you want to add them up, 9,150 plus 4,350, you'll get 13,500. So this is the new object's mass, right? And then we multiply its velocity, right? But we don't know that. That's what we're solving for. So we just multiply by V final, I guess. And so what we want to do now is just solve for V final. So you can divide by uh, 13,500. So divide. So we just go ahead and do this, 9,150 times 15, and then divide by 13,500. And when you do that, you're going to get V final, or the final speed, right? What will the car's new speed be after this is added? It's going to be equal to 10.16666 and so on. I'm just going to round to 10.2. Just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. But 10.2, and then the units are just going to be in meters per second, right? Because this is in meters per second, and we're using kilograms, so meters per second. So, right, because the kilograms cancel right here and then you just have meters per second. So 10.2 meters per second, that's going to be its velocity at the end. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.